see if you're the real deal. Test, see me, see if I'm the real deal. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Yeah, hold on, let's, oh God. Here, talk to him for a second. You're not saying that. So download him, very <laughs> good. All right, you, nah, that's okay. So download America New and check it out and let me know what you think. Huh? The best MC. Who the best MC? Tupac, Jay Z, and me. Nah, I don't rap no more. But, what's going on, man? I'm going to tell y'all some funny stuff i seen, man. But, if y'all haven't seen that, uh, <laughs> if y'all haven't seen that Dame Dash interview, y'all have to go watch it. Uh, it's not the interview, it's just him on live. And, man, he was talking about 50 Cent. And what he was saying, man, because I love about the Dame Dash talk, man, because he makes so much sense. He's a smart guy. I hate how, how everybody doing him in the game. As much as people don't like him, what he did for the culture is very important. Because Jay-Z, what he did with Rockefeller Records, he didn't do that by himself. It was three partners. It was uh, uh, Biggs, Dame Dash, and Jay-Z that built Rockefeller, you know what I'm saying, from the ground up and what they mean to the culture. We got to talk about him when we when we talk about people like that. We just try to sweep him under the rug like he had nothing to do with nothing. Yeah, Jay-Z was going to be Jay-Z, but... The marketing and stuff that went behind Jay-Z, everybody wasn't feeling Jay-Z at first. You know, everybody wasn't even feeling his style. Like, you know the story of him going in there paying, uh, I think it, it, it wasn't, I think, yeah, Kevin Lyles, he was going in there dropping that bag on his desk trying to get him some play. He ended up putting one of his songs on that, uh, was it the uh, Nutty Professor soundtrack? That song with him and Foxy Brown? You know, uh, what's the name of that song? Ain't that. I think it's, I can't remember the name of that song. Anyway, you no, know, Dame, Dame Dash need his respect. And how they handling him right now, how everybody letting him go under. And we can say nobody's letting him go under. He's, I mean, he's doing it himself. But sometimes we got to protect our own. You got, come on, Jay-Z, regardless of how you feel about this guy, you know what I'm saying? This guy, y'all was a, y'all was team, y'all was brothers at one time, man. And it's starting to rain. So, just, just that being said, we shouldn't allow this guy to look how he's looking right now for, for all he did for music. You know, he he the one that uh, believed in Kanye West and gave him an opportunity. You know, he had Rockefeller. He was the brand. You know, he was the, the guy handling all the business. You know, him and Biggs, while Jay-Z was doing all the rapping to become what he became. You know what I'm saying? So we got to give him some credit. We can't just, just take him out and talk about him and, and down him. But... <laughs> The funny part I'm hopping on her about, he was on the live, because I went somewhere else, but while he was on the live, you know, his bottom teeth fell out. <laughs> and man, how he handled it, he handled it like a straight up champ. But that's got to be one of the most embarrassing things, because, you know, that's a live. If it would have just been a video, you probably could have took the video off and uh, took that out. But with that being a live, you cannot run from that. You can't hide. Everybody know your bottom teeth are fake. And that's that's embarrassing, man. You know what I'm saying? If you if you think about it, I mean, but that dude, you know what I'm saying, Dame Dash a rich guy, you know. So, I mean, you probably will see a lot of people in the game that if they would really tell the truth, they some of their teeth will fall out. They got fake teeth. I, I see people with them big tombstone teeth all the time going to get them uh them fake teeth, you know what I'm saying, or redoing their teeth. I see it all the time. So I don't think it's no different, but his teeth was fake, you know what I'm saying? And he fell out of his mouth while he was talking. And that, would, that would have been kind of embarrassing. But if y'all ain't seen the video, y'all got to watch the video. But what he was saying in the video, he had a lot of good points. Like with him and 50 Cent, they do need to work together. I don't think we should, you know what I'm saying, uh, you know what I'm saying, to let him get handled how he get handled, you know what I'm saying, and, 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 and tarnish his man's legacy. And you can say he tarnished his own legacy, but I don't agree, man. I think, you know, he got blackballed and... and in, in the business he's trying to do, people are preventing him from doing the business. But tell me how you feel about it, man. Tell me how you feel about <laughs> his teeth falling out, though, man. That was embarrassing, man. But 
like, comment, subscribe to my video, man. And I know some of y'all got some fake teeth, too. So, man, don't be high side on this guy, man, because y'all be talking too much. Just don't do a live, because if you do a regular video and your teeth fall out, at least you can put it back in and edit that out. So don't be talking about this guy if you got fake teeth and some of your teeth be popping out your mouth, man. So I'm out, man. Y'all have a good one.